engines, rapid and shallow, most 160. Hey, you all right? You look like you've seen it. Dr. Castillo, you're gonna just stand there and gawk? You're gonna help me keep this man alive. Let's go! Get an IV started. Kendall. Let them help you first. Then you can be with them. You want to tell me what we're up against here? He's fighting systemic infection caused by... Why don't we point fingers later, all right? Right now, this man needs antibiotics and fluids pumped into him as fast as we can get them. Had him this whole time? Excuse me. You didn't tell me? You want to crucify me? That line is outside. Right here, a man is dying. But the second time, David. That's entirely up to you, doctor. In case you've forgotten, I lost my medical license. Legally, I'm not allowed to do anything to help him. Oh, so you're concerned with legalities okay. now? The way I see it, you have two choices. You could either be the hero, or you can go outside and inform Kendall that she's become a widow twice over. I know you must have a lot of questions. We all do. Right now, just one. David must have found Zach after the plane crash and somehow kept him alive. Just like he did with me after my motorcycle accident. How is that possible? And why am I finding out about this right now? Those are both really good questions, and after David finishes helping Zach, we will get some answers. So, you just woke up and Zach was there? Yeah, we were locked in a room together. So David was holding him against his will? We don't know that. Well, then why else wouldn't he come back to me? I must have heard you wrong. I thought you said that Zach was alive. Oh, 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 oh how? Where's he been all this time? He, uh, David had him hidden away. Oh, what's wrong with him? Um, he's he's got some sort of an infection. Is he going to be okay? I thought I'd finally figured out how to live my life without him. I was moving on. Thanks. How terrible is that? How could you possibly have known? Zach wanted you and the boys to be happy. To live. And, and he thought he was dead. We all did. I should have listened to my heart when it told me that he wasn't. He needs to make it. Zach is fighting his way back to us. Yeah, he's not going to stop fighting now. David did this. I don't know how, but he did. Well, don't, don't, don't question it now. This is a miracle. And, 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 and Zach is alive, and, and he just needs our positive energy now to get better. And to stay that way. The boys, the boys, Spike and Ian, they uh, get their dad back. And mom, mom. Oh, uh, she's in France. Uncle Jack took her away. One of us will call her. You just need to focus here. And stay strong for Zach. If you were so hell bent on, on going off with David. You would have tried to talk me out of it. Yeah, I, I would have. And when that didn't work, because we all know when you set your mind on something, there's no changing it, at least then I would have, I would have gone with you and I would have been able to watch your back. You're right. I'm sorry. 
When David figured out my symptoms weren't real, I tried to leave, and that's when he drugged me. Son of a bitch. Yeah, well, you know what? He's keeping Zach alive, and there will be plenty of people to go after David later. I need to call my dad. Can I borrow your phone? Yeah, yeah. Dad, um, are you and Erica sitting down? Well, one of us is. Greenlee, is it, uh, is it that bad? That good. Turns out Dixie's not the only one who's come back. Who is it now? Zach. How's Kendall doing? Well, under the circumstances, she's, she's doing okay. Griffin is checking her out now. Checking her out? Is she all right? Is it her heart? Well, she's had quite a shock. We all have. And we're all here for her. All right, uh, I'll be on the next plane home. Is that my mom? Uh, you, you know what? I've got Bianca here for you. Mom? You tell Kendall I'll be there in the morning. Uh, no, I, I don't think you need to do that. Why not? Well, uh... I, I, I drove by... Pet house on my way over, and there's an army of paparazzi camped, camped outside. I guess with everything that's going on with you, I mean, the, the kidnapping, David stabbing, the O'Keefe and fire, Jane's confession. So what you're saying is that if I were to come home, I would just lead the whole media circus right to Kendall? Yeah, just stay there with Uncle Jack. You know, you just got there. Get some rest. And then this will all die down, and then you can't come and be here with Kendall without the cameras. How is Zach? Uh, well, he's still fighting an infection. But I'll, I'll keep you in the loop, and I, and I promise I'll tell Kendall to call you as soon as she can. Okay, honey, and then, then you take care of your sister. You know, I will. I love you, Mom. I love you too, honey. Hayward looks awfully happy with himself, doesn't he? He gave us Zach back. Something like that buys a lot of forgiveness. It also raises a hell of a lot of questions, like how the hell was Hayward there when Zach's plane went in the ocean? 